Russian telegram channels report that a drone hit a gas storage tank at a gas station in Russian Belgorod region, causing a large fire. Yesterday's video of the burning of a Russian tank, it turned out that it was an experienced crew that had repeatedly carried out attacks on Ukrainian positions and showed off on propaganda channels. He was neutralized by soldiers of the 58th Motorized Infantry Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, who probably tracked him down on purpose. Destroying a tank is always an important achievement, but eliminating an experienced crew is an even better achievement. Our problem is very simple. We have no weapons. They always knew April and May would be a difficult time for us, Vadim Skibitsky, deputy head of Ukraine's military intelligence, told The Economist. Several statements from his interview are that the situation is as difficult as it has ever been since the early days of Russia's full-scale invasion, and it is about to get worse. Russia's main push will begin at the end of May or beginning of June. Russia is now operating as a single body, with a clear plan and under a single command. Russia will first press on with its plan to liberate all of Ukraine's eastern Donetsk and Luhansk regions. The speed and success of the advance will determine when and where the Russians strike next. Russia is gearing up for an assault around the Kharkiv and Sumy regions in the northeast. Russia's northern grouping, based across the border from Kharkiv, is currently 35 but is set to expand to between 50,000 and 70,000 troops. This is not enough for an operation to take a major city, but Kharkiv faces a difficult period. A quick operation to come in and come out, maybe, but an operation to take Kharkiv or even Sumy City is of a different order. The Russians know this, and we know this, Vadim Skibitsky said. German Chancellor Scholz answered a question about the reasons for his reluctance to transfer long-range Taurus missiles to Ukraine. There are weapons that can only be supplied if there is control over everything that is done with them. And you can't have a debate here, as if between friends, don't you trust me? Und es gibt Waffen, die kann man nur liefern, wenn man über alles, was damit gemacht wird, die Kontrolle behält. Und Da kann man auch nicht so eine Debatte führen, wie man sie unter Freunden führen kann. Traust du mir nicht? Natürlich traue ich meinen Freunden. Trotzdem würde ich nicht jedem alle Waffen geben. So. Ukraine has the right to use UK weapons to strike targets in Russia, says UK Foreign Secretary during his visit to Kiev. British Foreign Secretary David Cameron promised three billion pounds, $3.74 billion of annual military aid for Ukraine for as long as it takes on Thursday, adding that London had no objection to the weapons being used inside Russia. Ukraine has that right? Just as Russia is striking inside Ukraine, you can quite understand why Ukraine feels the need to make sure it's defending itself, David Cameron told Reuters. The strength and determination of the Ukrainian people. And what I want to say by being here is that we will continue to give you the moral support, the diplomatic support, the economic support, but above all the military support that you need, not just this year and next year, but however long it takes. Um, I had some disagreements with my friend Boris Johnson, but we've known each other for 40 years, and his support for you was the finest thing that he and his government have done. I'm back here for 100%. And so, it's really important to have this meeting, to hear what it is you most need, to work out how we can work together, how we can uh, get the communications right with all our friends and allies, you know, to make sure the attention is here. There will be additional air defense for Moscow, as well as heavy-duty jammers for drones on Putin's inauguration day, Russian media say. Also, according to them, the police were obliged to work through all residential buildings located near special highways and places of mass gathering of people. At the same time, 
All the remaining mercenaries from Wagner PMC were informed through their supervisors that they should not leave their homes on May 7th. They were strictly forbidden to appear in public places, including large companies, in camouflage, with chevrons and awards, according to the VCHK OGPU interlocutors. There has been no information so far which of the foreign leaders would attend. Rehearsals for the May 9th Victory Day Parade in Moscow's Red Square are taking place today and have been going on throughout this week, with this year's parade expected to be much different than 2023's, which took place during the height of the Russian invasion of Ukraine and featured almost no modern heavy equipment, no flyover, and few soldiers. Over my last three years, the security environment has changed drastically, and not in a good way. Admiral Aquilino, in his final public interview in uniform after a 40-year career. As I look at over my last three years, uh, the security environment has changed drastically, and not in a good way. When you look at the PRC as the most concerning security threat that exists, they continue to be more aggressive in a variety of areas. Uh, they are challenging the current international rules to benefit uh, an authoritarian society that does not provide uh, benefit for anyone else in the region. They've expanded their military capability, their verbalization is more aggressive, and their actions are more aggressive, and they've now accelerated to dangerous. The main theme that's really concerning here and that everyone has to see is it links authoritarian nations in ways that hasn't we haven't seen uh, in our history in a long, long time. Russia has attacked Odessa with ballistic missiles several times this week. Despite anything, people there are baking Easter cakes and treating our defenders. The video shows only some of the Easter breads that the author of the video gave away at the Odessa railway station, while the rest were sent to the soldiers at the front lines. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.